Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a Sage Who Rises. Today, I will be doing the sun, moon rising of Scorpio. So, let's get to it. So, angels, what's the tea? So, we got Neptune here. You could be dealing with a Pisces. This could be pertaining to something that could be hidden from you. Something that you need to listen to your intuition about. We got Pluto, and then we have Mercury. So, Pluto, do you know that's Scorpio? And then we got Mercury, that's Virgo, Gemini. This could be some type of ending to some type of communication. And this could be because of some type of illusion that was created. It's like you have to discern something with this Neptune being here. Listen to your intuition. With Pluto, to end something. Mercury could be some type of communication, all right? Yeah, we got Pluto again. So something is coming to an end, all right? So let's see what's going on, y'all. So angels, what's the T? Yeah, toll and labor, message of concern. So somebody was working their ass off behind the scenes. Could be three women here. And now they're having some type of message of concern. Yeah, adjudication is in reverse. So somebody could have made a bad judgment here. We got coffin. So somebody could have made a bad judgment to end something for you. Okay. But this was the path they chose. I'm saying that somebody was on a journey to cause you some type of bad help. You could be this privileged lady. And it's because you are an official person. This is a man. Who got you in their thoughts. Or I could be talking to a man. Whatever woman you're thinking about. Yes. It's her. She saw you as this official person. And she wanted to be seen as a privileged lady. So she could have had some type of ill intention towards you. Or this is somebody who wanted to cause you some type of bad health. This is the journey she chose. This is the path she was on. And it's looking like she made a bad judgment. With adjudication in the reverse. To end something for you. Or to end you. However it go. So angels, what we got going on for Scorpio? Yeah, it says you're tapped in spiritually. What else we got going on for Scorpio? We got bad relationship at its end. What else we got going? We got cocky, arrogant, but put in the work. So somebody could have been saying this about you. Somebody could have been like, oh, you're very cocky, you're arrogant, but you put in the work. Okay, it came out in the reverse. So somebody could be cocky and arrogant, but don't even put in the fucking work. It says, you have a golden light that surrounds you. Okay, and then we have love is blind here. Okay, you could be from Chicago. You don't have to be. Let me put that back because it came out in reverse and we're not doing any reversals. What we got going on for Scorpio? Yeah, somebody wants your forgiveness. Okay, I'm saying that ancestor money will help you. Okay, your ancestors, it says today, give them some ancestor money, okay? Offerings, you know what they need. And then we have felling, using women for what they can do for them. So you could be dealing with a felon, okay? This is somebody who has a felony, okay? This could be somebody who possibly can't get jobs, okay? And they use women for money, all right? Let me get one more card. Then we have emotional wreck has lost their mind. So somebody is an emotional wreck. They lost their goddamn mind. Okay. <laughs> so angels, why is your top in spiritually? Yeah. With the queen of swords, queen of cups, ten of cups. With the queen of swords, you make unbiased judgment. Meaning you are somebody that people can count on without trying to be judgmental. You're very independent and you set clear boundaries. You have a direct perspective and clear mind. Queen of Cups, you're very compassionate, psychic, intuitive, healing, and caring. And with the Ten of Cups, you can have some type of divine love. Well, you're having your happily ever after. It's like your dreams is coming true. This could be pertaining to family or just total love and support. Like you're totally love out here. You have total support. You have total support out here. Ace of Wands, you just need to take action. High Priestess, Seven of Wands, to so basically what I'm getting is you need to take action, okay? You know you have this spark, okay? You know you have this little fire within you, and you're being told to listen to your intuition. Seven of Wands, stand your ground, defend yourself, protect yourself, okay? Maintain control over a situation. Ace of Cups, this can be when it comes to your love life, okay? Four of Swords, you're also being told to lay something to rest, 
empress with a baby mother with a mother figure seven of pentacles because your hard work is going to pay off knight of cups it's like you could be dealing with your you know your knight in shining armor two of cups so you could be dealing with a cancer or a pisces okay and with the five of swords this is the reason why somebody wants to cause you conflict okay this is why they want to compete with you it's like somebody is jealous of the fact that somebody is your knight in shining armor that's all this is all right somebody is mad with this five of swords two of cups somebody is very winning at all costs type of energy a bully okay very abusive and it's because of your relationship you're dealing with your knight in shining armor it's like your hard work is paying off and somebody's mother something's about to be laid to rest for them because love wins seven of wands you just need to defend yourself and listen to your intuition take action because your dreams is coming true you're showing up as the queen of swords queen of cups okay and you have the lovers here I can't make this up. Somebody is trying to win at all costs when it comes to your soulmate. With the moon card, that's, just, that's what's being hidden. Okay? It's like somebody wants you to go through sleepless nights and anxiety because you're dealing with your soulmate. You're dealing with your twin flame. You're dealing with your true love. You're not in shining armor. Hey, what the fuck? It's giving weird ass bitch. Why is bad relationship at its end? Yeah, fool card. It's like whatever bad relationship that you was in, you, you on a whole brand new journey now. Okay? It's like right now you need to trust in life. Have blind faith, okay? Because you got opportunities coming towards you. And you have plenty of possibilities as well. Only thing you need to do is remain optimistic. Eight of Wands. I'm seeing that um somebody could be wanting to communicate with you. With the Three of Pentacles, this could be a group of bitches who work together. Tower. So it's a group of bitches that's wanting to communicate with you now. Now that you're on your brand new beginning. And it's because shit is backfiring in their lives. Okay? Two of Pentacles. I'm saying that... um. Something backfired on this group of people that was working against you, bruh. All right? Now they want to communicate. Now they want to start something over. But with the Two of Pentacles, you're being told to remain balanced. Okay? Yeah. Page of Swords. Because you got bitches watching you. Ace of Pentacles. And they're saying that you have abundance coming towards you. They're saying that you have opportunities in career, finances. And that you're on a new venture. Star card. Yeah, you're healing. Chariot. And you're getting victory and success. Five of Cups. So you could have once been in this sorrow type of energy. I'm saying that you're healing for that shit. You're getting victory and success. And you have abundance coming towards you. You could have your own business. You could have a new job. But this is what's coming towards you. And this is causing somebody else sadness, regret. Because you ghosted their ass. This could have been somebody who thought that they was ghosting you. They thought that if they ghost you, you was going to compete with them. I'm also hearing somebody wanted you to be ghosted because they was competing with you. This person is under judgment and they're going to have to walk away in the distant horizon because you're somebody who don't give up on yourself. So it's like somebody thought you was going to give up because they ghosted you. Some weird ass shit like that. But you don't give up on yourself. Now this person wants your forgiveness. Why is wants your, your forgiveness? Yeah. You got a king of wands here. This is somebody who could be a part of a community. This person is heartbroken. Four of Cups because they missed the opportunity. This King of Wands can also be your twin flame, pool. This person is motherfucking heartbroken because they missed the opportunity with you. Death card. Yeah, it's over with this person. And it's over with you working with this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Whoever this King of Wands and this Queen of Pentacles is, it's a dub. It's a dub for these people. Look, Queen of Pentacles. This person could have did some type of work to kill you and miss the opportunity. Now she's heartbroken. Because whatever home she got with this king of wands, it's about to come to a complete ending. It's about to be an end to their cycle. Mm -hmm. Two of swords, they didn't see this coming. Five of pentacles, that they were going to be the ones left outside. That they was going to be the ones going through poverty. That they was going to be the ones that have this lack mindset, feeling isolated, feeling insecure. Yeah, that's what they wanted for you. Why is felon using women? Yeah, five of pentacles. This person, we got five of pentacles, five of cups. Star card. So, you're dealing with somebody that's insecure. This is why this person used women for money. Because they're insecure. Instead of this person getting on their ass, getting off their ass, I meant, and getting on their shit, they'd rather have their hand out to ask the next motherfucker. And with the five of cups, this person's in hella regret. Star card, because you was able to heal, chariot, and get victory and success. Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, you have abundance coming towards you. A new career, financial opportunity, and a new venture. And somebody is watching you. 
Two of Pentacles bounce back like you never left. <laughs> That's basically what they're saying. Why is emotional wreck here? Has lost their mind. Yeah, a King of Swords. This could be a Taurus, Gemini. With the Ten of Swords and the King of Swords. This is a Gemini. I'm saying that this person is losing their mind because you already made a head of a heart decision. And you're very disciplined. You're very truthful and honest. And you also have mental clarity about this person. Ten of Swords trying to cause you a painful ending. Trying to cause you betrayal. This is somebody who wanted to defeat you. Two of Swords. But what they don't see coming, the world. That it's, it's the ending to this cycle of you being betrayed. Of you being stabbed in the back. It's the ending to that. And this King of Wands knows it. Nine of Wands. This is why this person took some type of impulsive ass action to come towards you. Six of Wands. Sticking it. It was going to get victory and success. With this King of Pentacles, they're getting karma though. <laughs> yeah, that's what's coming towards them. Karma. And this Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Feminine. Somebody's ex. Of this bitch seeing that you was in this self-sufficient, independent energy. And she wanted some type of control. This you could be dealing with her child's father with this nine of pentacles, the emperor, six of yeah. This queen of wands is somebody's ex. She wanted to receive some type of fruits of labor from your divine masculine. Four of pentacles. This is why this person trying to hold on to your divine masculine so hard like that. Scrim card. Yeah, inner ego. Sun card. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. You had a Leo trying to hold on to you because this is somebody who is power tripping. But this person isn't happy. At all, they're actually depressed and overly optimistic to the point that it's causing them negativity and depression and sadness. Yeah, this is somebody that's arrogant. Very arrogant. But hey, neither here nor there. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This could be somebody that you have a family with. Ten of Wands. I'm also saying that this is a community of people that's going through some type of heavy burden when it comes to a King of Cups. And that's the fucking truth. Because they could have attacked you. And thought that they was going to be able to move the calm waters with some type of illusion they created about you and your lover. Just so that they could try to win or win at all costs. This is somebody who wanted to defeat you. This is somebody who was competing with you. They wanted to win at all costs. Whether they was bullying you, slandering you, they wanted to win. And they wanted to win with their partner. So it's giving a couple that's in a community that's now going through sleepless nights and anxiety. That's now feeling weighed down. Because they got too much responsibilities now. What they wanted for you is going to be for them. So angels, why is judication in the reverse? Yeah. Somebody made a bad judgment. Now they're mentally stuck and trapped. Page of Pentacles for what they invested in. Nine of Cups because they really wanted some type of wish to come true. Ace of Wands. This is why they took action. Ten of Cups. Mm, possibly some family. We got a Pisces. We got Aries, Leo, Sag. We got Pisces again. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we got Gemini. So whoever made this bad judgment, there are some type of negative thoughts. But this is self-imposed restriction. Okay? Page of Pentacles. And it's because of what they manifested. Nine of Cups. This is somebody who wanted some type of wish to come true. Ace of Wands, so they took this action. Ten of Cups. Mm-hmm. Queen of Cups. Queen of Swords. Nine of Swords. This is you. This is not you. Somebody is in this nine of swords energy because you have mental clarity. You listen to your intuition. And they're going through sleepless nights and anxiety. Like I said, eight of cups going to have to walk away because their ass is under judgment. Five of wands for creating this conflict amongst a group of people. Hermit in secret. So this could have been a Virgo, Leo. They're going to have to walk away right along with this Pisces because they're under fucking judgment. Why is coughing here? For Scorpio? Why is Coffee in here? Sure is. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords here. So, this could be a Virgo, Libra. Something is about to infant this person. And it's causing them sleepless nights and anxiety. Eight of Cups, because they're going to have to walk away. Because their ass is under judgment. For causing some conflict amongst a group of people. But this is karma. For doing some type of magic. On some type of community. To cause heartbreak. To a high priestess. So you could be this high priestess. Mm hmm Or well, I'm saying that somebody worked with a high priestess. Yeah, somebody worked with a high priestess to project some shit towards your new beginning. Now they want to apologize because they're being exposed as being a liar, a thief. Yeah, the path they chose was to take something from you. And they went looking. 
to see if some money, somebody was like watching your money. With the Page of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, somebody was watching your fucking money, bro. Yeah, somebody is heartbroken. This could be a Libra or an Aries. This person is heartbroken. This could be an Aries in a community because they did some type of magic. And now they're getting fucking karma for causing this conflict amongst five people. Let me see. One, two, three, four. It's five people here. These same five people is right here. No, it's six right here. Yeah, they're on the judgment. They're going to have to walk away for trying to cause you sleepless nights and anxiety. So it could go either way. Somebody could have tried to cause you some type of ending. Okay. So it's like somebody could have wanted you to pass away. You could be this queen of swords. You could be very truthful. And that's why they wanted you to pass away. And they wanted you to go through all types of anxiety, sleepless nights, feeling like you was going to pass away. That's what I'm getting. Seriously. Somebody wanted the queen of swords to be in the sleepless nights and anxiety because they wanted you to walk away. Oh, somebody wanted you to walk away from your fucking calling. They wanted you to walk away from your calling. Sure did. So they caused conflict amongst a group of people. When it came to your destiny. When it came to your purpose. Then they had to learn to do magic. With a community. To cause you some type of heartbreak, suffering, grief. These people said. And it's all because you're the high priestess. That people want to work with. So they started projecting on your new beginning. Then they want to apologize because they're being exposed as liars. And the path they chose was to take something from you. Somebody was literally watching your money and then tried to play like all these mind games when it came to your partnership. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, you've been told to defend yourself. Because somebody is manifesting you to be mentally stuck in trap, Queen of Cups. This could be an in-law. Yeah, they're doing it with counter magic. This is their wish fulfillment. This is what they had in. A couple. Mm -hmm. A Virgo, Taurus, and a mother figure. That's the truth. But you have to scrimp. And you're being told to hold back. You're being told to hold back. With that four of pentacles, you're being told to hold back and have control and structure with the emperor. That four of pentacles and the emperor, you're being told to hold back and have structure. Have discipline. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Don't fuck with these people. They want you out of here. It. What we got going on? That's probably why they said with Neptune, listen to your intuition and in communication. It's, what we got going on? Narcissist. We got a narcissist here. A motherfucking air sign that's trying to cause you challenges. This is somebody that's trying to be in the middle. They're trying to sabotage something for you. And it's because you're moved on from their ass. So angels, why is this narcissist here? Someone is too full of themselves. Yeah. You're being told to. You need to listen to your gut. Okay? And meditate. Reflect. Turn inward for the answers within you. You're headed towards a, a period of growth. Yeah. You're dealing with a narcissist. Yep. And something is about to backfire on someone. Because you're getting victory and success. And it's because you put in the hard work for it. Yeah. So it's like you put on, it's like you're finally here. You feel me? It's like you could have been going through some type of sudden change, upheaval, but you are moving. You're making progress. You're determined and you have control. This is why you're going to have some type of victory on your journey. And it's like your hard work is paying off. With judgment, you answer the car. Yes. Eight of Pentacles, you put in a word. And somebody did magic, a king of wands, with their lover to cause you sleepless nights and anxiety. Now they want to apologize because they know they're going to have to walk away because they know they're getting karma for what they did in secret. Period. Somebody is, I'm, I'm hearing somebody is a narcissist. They're mad that you're the high priest of seven of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's mad about you being a high priestess, that your hard work is paying off for you. Period. That's all. That's what's going on. I can definitely be reading for a high priestess. I'm not just a high priestess. I'm a healer. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah, with the air sign. It, fire sign. So the will of fortune is Sagittarius energy. Moon is Cancer, Pisces energy. Hmm. So somebody is about to get karma for what they did in secret. 
They was heavily invested when it came to you, high priestess. Now they're about to deal with a backfire because you got victory and success when you put in this hard work. And somebody's going to be mentally slick and trapped, a family, because you're healing from whatever heartbreak, eight of wands that they sent you. Seven of cups, something was just a fucking illusion. Four of wands that this community created. Four of cups, they missed the opportunity. Emperor, with your divine masculine. So this could be your divine masculine's family. Whole time. It's probably not even your motherfucking family. Yeah. Somebody was literally trying to cause you challenges and shit. Why is challenges here? Yeah, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Page of Wands, they can definitely get good news. Hermit, if you got ghosted. Three of Pentacles. So this is a group. This is a group. This is either a couple that went to a person. I really feel like this is a couple that went to a person here. Because it's two people together and one man right here. So it's looking like a couple went to somebody. Hermit to get you ghosted. Page of Wands thinking that they was going to get good news. Ace of Swords, that's the fucking truth. But with the Eight of Cups, they're going to have to walk away. Because you're the Empress. Hierophant. And you could be a spiritual teacher or leader. So this could be somebody's mother who's... Hold on, y'all. So, yeah. Yeah, it's like three people work together. But it's looking like a couple went to somebody, like I said, to get some type of insight on you. They can even get good news. That's the truth. They're going to have to walk away. Like I said, you're the Empress Hierophant. So you could be the creator of something. You created something. And somebody wanted you to be left out in the cold for it. That's why they was watching you. That's the fucking truth with the King of Swords and with the Six of Swords. They're going to have to move away. These are people from your past that's been holding on to your motherfucking energy. But you had the scrimp to move forward even though somebody tried to like attack you or some shit like that. Why is someone else... Yeah. Three of Cups, what I said. It's a group of people. Somebody could have even formed their little own cove in here. You got an Aries here too. With the Queen of Wands, Two of Wands, this is an Aries. And a group of bitches here that could have formed their own coven. They tried to sabotage something for you. And now their ass is under judgment. They are being exposed for doing this work on you. They did magic. Right along with this King of Wands, lover of someone's. Yeah, this person going through sleepless nights and anxiety. For trying to act like they was coming towards you to propose something, but in actuality, they wanted you to go through some type of disaster. Mm-hmm. High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles. We got to hit. We gotta hear again. High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles. Your hard work is going to pray off. Moon card. And somebody wanted you to be in some type of illusion. Will of Fortune. And now they're getting karma for that. Emperor. Because somebody is your... This can be your child's father. That's the crazy thing about it. You're being told to move on from the situation. Like, basically... Let things be what it is. So, like, if these people in the past, like, if you already cut them off, leave them there. Now, don't even open up communication like we got in the beginning. Like, don't even open up communication because we had judgment in reverse in the, in the coffin right here. And, you know, coffin, you know, we got Queen of Swords again. Like, somebody wanted you to pass away or they wanted you out of the way because of your honesty, bro. Like, give me more in this Queen of Swords with this coffin. Exactly. It's, it's, it says the light at the end of the tunnel, improving, negativity, stress. Yeah, somebody wants to apologize now because they're being exposed. They're going to get karma for what they was invested in. Somebody did work on you to cause conflict amongst a group of people because they wanted you to be defeated. Hermit, this is what they did in secret. This ain't no about you passing away. This is about somebody trying to end your ass. Exactly, ten of swords. Somebody wanted you to go through some type of downcasting. Or they wanted your ass out the way. Five of Wands. Causing conflict amongst a group of people. Nine of Swords. Because they wanted you to go through anxiety and sleep this night. Two of Wands. This is the path somebody chose to get victory and success. But you overpowered them. <laughs> you persevered. Nine of Pentacles. Because you're self-sufficient independent. And this is what you deserve. You deserve to be sitting in a Nine of Pentacles. Not no fucking coffin. I don't know what somebody thought. Seven of Wands. You're being told to protect yourself. Nine of Cups from a Pisces. Leo, Aries, Virgo. Period. People weird ass goddamn people. Yeah, message. Yeah, because you... I just seen coughing again. They want you to pass away because you are a messenger. We have message, gift. You are a messenger. Your gift is to be a messenger. You have people wanting to silence you because I guess you speak the truth. 
Like the first card I see is wings here. Be true to yourself. You got two little witches here that you didn't already manage your broken heart from. It's time for you to have a treat. These bitches views is distorted. That's all. They view is distorted. But at the same time, it ain't your fucking job. It's not your job. At all. It ain't your job to help bitches um, see shit clear. No, it's not. Seven of Cups. Somebody is creating illusions. Six of Swords. Move on to common waters from these bitches. Nine of Pentacles. Because last time I checked, whatever you got going on for yourself, you did that shit independently. Not with a group of motherfuckers. So, angels, what we got going on? Yeah, we got soulmate here. Yep. Somebody. So, this soulmate here is about to go through a loss. And they're going to be furious. Because somebody is ill here. For bullying someone for gain. Yeah, somebody was out here praying on someone's downfall, being arrogant. So they collaborated with a group of people, wishing and hoping on someone's connection, just so that they can curse it. Mm. Well, well, well. Why is eternal love here? For Scorpio? Why is eternal love here? Yeah, tower. There's about to be a sudden change. Six of Cups with these past people. A Queen of Wands. This person is about to get some type of Karma, running over this King of Pentacles, Six of Wands. So, this could be an older couple here. And Aries, with this Mars being here, Six of Cups. These are people that is from your past. A Queen of Wands, that could be an Aries. This person is about to get some type of justice. Okay? Run along with the King of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Yeah, moon card. Because somebody created an illusion to their lover to ghost someone. And they was heavily invested. When it came to this mother figure, that's the truth. Yeah, somebody was in their ego. Why is loss here? Yeah, somebody is about to go through sorrow, damage, bereavement. Yeah, ace of cups. Somebody is about to lose, like, a love of a lifetime. For doing magic. This could be a king of pentacles. This person is about to get karmic justice when it comes to a queen of wands. Hmm. So in the past, a queen of wands and the king of pentacles wanted some type of justice. So they could have did magic on your love life to make you go through a loss. This is an older couple. Something is about to backfire on them. And it's because they created some type of illusion about some lovers here. Just to get someone ghosted. Why is Fury here? Yeah, somebody is furious. It, somebody is furious that you're getting victory and success here. This could be a King of Swords mother. So a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius mother. A Gemini. With this Ten of Swords being here. This is a Gemini. Mother. Yeah, something is about to end for this Aries because they sabotage themselves. That's the truth. I'm hearing, yeah, truth is somebody tried to sacrifice you, a whole community. They wanted you to end. They wanted you to go through some type of painful ending because of a mother. That's the truth. Yeah, somebody wanted some type of attention. So they attack you. Why is illness here? We got a disease, weakness, fragile. Judgment. So somebody judgment is to be ill until they resolve some type of conflict. Yeah, eight of cups and walk away. Nine of swords. Queen of swords. So yeah. See, I see if it was like this, like the queen of swords, nine of swords. I could say like the queen of swords is going to sleep is nice and anxiety. But somebody's gonna have to walk away from trying to cause you anxiety fear depression queen of swords knight of cups three of cups it's like you could have went towards a group of bitches that took some type of impulsive ass action with the king of wands just to get victory and success mm. yeah knight of swords knight of pentacles devil it's like somebody took an impulsive ass action and it's because they were jealous envious yeah, Page of Cups. Now somebody wants to apologize because they're being exposed as being a liar. 
Lois. Lois. Hmm. So tell me about this illness. What is this about? Yeah, temperance. If if this is you, because I really feel like you got an older couple here that wanted you to go through a loss. But I really feel like this can also be you and your soulmate. They wanted y'all to go through a loss because they was unpleasant or they was mad. So they wanted to cause you illness. This could be read different ways. Somebody could also be sick and they're furious that they're going through a loss of a soulmate. This can go either way. Like I said, if this is you who's sick, you will be able to uh, balance out that shit. Nine of Pentacles, nine of Wands. So you will be able to make it through. You will be able to recover. Okay? Three of Wands in the distant horizon. Slowly but surely, because somebody already missed the opportunity to lay your ass to rest, okay? Five of Swords. This is somebody who wanted to win at all costs. So, if this is you, who's it, baby? Mm. Why is this eternal love here? Yeah, this this older couple is about to be... Like I said, I, I know I'm reading it right, but I like to like get all the... All the direction of the message, like, not just one, just because it's like, oh, soulmate, loss, fury, illness. You could read it all types of ways. This is an older couple that's about to be confined because of whatever it is that their goal was. These people were literally in an illusion, right along with a family, thinking that they can trap you for merit making. Why is loss here? <laughs> These are people who was... Trying to get you to bow down to their motherfucking knees. Yeah, somebody lost their self-love energy. Now they feeling awkward because you're okay. So somebody lost some type of self-healing, self-concern, independent energy. This is somebody who's feeling awkward now about your stability. This is somebody who was arrogant. Yeah, they got rejected. Class theory here. <laughs> Or somebody feel like they lost towards your self-love energy as well. Why is Fury here? If somebody is furious about your luck, boo. About your good news, boo. Because they thought that if they put some type of unwanted attention on you. And pretend to apologize. That they could distort your view. Like, wow. Why is illness here? Mm. This is crazy. Yeah. Somebody that you trusted tried to cause you illness. This is their way of holding you back from a marriage. This person wasn't seeing things clearly because you got good news on your side. It, so, if you are feeling sick, boots, get you some green drinks, some green juice detox. It ain't going to be that bad. Yeah, you're being seen as a master. And somebody is unapologetic. They don't care because they've been doing this shit their whole life. This is somebody that's a thief that tried to take from you. And for, like, literally everything from you. To, what it says? It says, a fake spiritual group really work with dark arts and with dark gods. It, I told you with that three of cups, it had to be a little coven, something. Because it wasn't sitting right. Because why would judication be in the reverse and coughing? Mm. Somebody made a bad judgment to try to like end you. It, to try to put you in a coffin. It, period. Yeah. This is somebody who traveled towards you. Because you was this queen rising. And they wanted you back. But this person wasted their motherfucking time. Because you were about to get some type of proof. How somebody just wanted the inside scoop. How they just wanted to get evidence that you won't shit. That's all. Somebody wanted to get evidence that you won't shit, but baby, you the queen rising, so it didn't go as planned. We already seen it. Judication, they was wrong. Well, however they judge you, it was off. Uh, what we got going on? Yeah, grudge holder. Somebody's a motherfucking grudge holder. And that's just what it is. Trying to come between you and somebody to be a third man or third woman just so that they can fish for comments. Like I said, somebody weird. They weird. And it, it, it is what it is. It, it's a lot of weird people here. You know? So who is the sign that Scorpio needs to watch out for?
It said you need to watch out for a Capricorn, an Aquarius, a Leo, and any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, and Capricorn. With a Uranus, yep, Moon, Pisces. Yeah, you need to watch out for a Pisces, Water sign, and a Sagittarius. And we had Air. So, it looked like Air got there, but either way, you need to watch out for any sign, no matter. Yeah, mostly Fire and Earth. So, we got Taurus here, okay? You need to watch out for this Taurus with Earth and Venus and a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Scorpio in reverse, Mars in reverse, Mercury in reverse. So, yeah, you ain't got to worry about a Scorpio and Aries, Virgo, Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Libra, or an Aries. Hmm. You might do, though. I really feel as though you might have ended the conversations with them and shit like that. 